There's something we learned a long time ago about I.O. devices. We learned this way back in the 60s. We don't want to know they exist. We build operating systems to hide I.O. devices from us. Who's done some Unix work? Right? Standard in and standard out. What device is that? <laughs> we don't care. We don't want to know. Why don't we want to know? Well, long, long ago, back in the 50s and the early 60s, people would ask us to write programs. Like, can you write a payroll program? And we'd say, yeah, we'll write you a payroll program. You just punch all the employees onto cards, and we'll read them in, and punch their time cards onto cards. We'll read them in, and we'll punch out paychecks. And we'd write the code that way, and the code would literally talk to the card reader and the card punch. And then they'd come along five years later and say, you know, we moved all our records on a magnetic tape, and the programmers are going, oh my God. That changes everything. Because dealing with the tape driver was really different from dealing with the card reader and the card punch. And we thought, okay, we don't want to go through that again, so let's just... Let's just make all the I.O. devices below the level of the operating system. The operating system was invented primarily for this purpose. Let's get all the I.O. devices below some line, some boundary line, and then we can write our code and never worry about that again. 